Yo, Mo. What's up? All right. Don't be giving me shit. I told you I'm a fucking maniac when it comes to quality. Here's what happened. Here's what happened. Uh, you want me to give you a shirt update? I'll do that too. Here's a shirt update. Uh, I called the lady about the shirts and she said they should be done by the end of this week or early, early, like next Tuesday the latest. Tuesday. They have to be done. All right. Uh, even if they were done early anyway, I couldn't pick them up anyway. First of all, I haven't received any payments from anybody. The last two shirts I sent out were uh, orange shirts from from the older shit. But uh, I'm sure I'll get some payments this week, and then uh, after I get like like six payments, I'll go pick them up. Here it is. Here's why I did this. That fucking Taurus PT25. You know. I went to Target Master and they had this Beretta, the uh, Tomcat 32 Auto, and I was sitting there looking at it and I asked the guy, I said, didn't I ask you if, I, if you had this? And he said, I don't remember, man. I said, yeah, I think I asked you if you had this. And you told me you didn't have it. So I'm up there looking at it, I'm like, that's the one I fucking want. That's the one I wanted to begin with. But I settled for the Taurus because I wanted a pocket gun. I wanted one bad because I can't wait because I'm an impatient prick. So, what I did was, I told a buddy of mine, because he's a Taurus freak, uh, I had this Taurus and uh, he bought it off me. And I didn't lose much money for once. He bought it off me, I went, uh, had to put more extra money out because this is a way, way higher quality gun and I want to show you why. As soon as I picked this, as soon as I picked this gun up after handling that Taurus, it was like by leaps and bounds higher quality. Blows it away, you know what I mean? This thing is awesome, okay? This is what I wanted to begin with. I wanted the Beretta Tomcat. This is the Beretta Tomcat. It's a single action, double action, which the Taurus is not. It's strictly double action. And uh, the, the trigger pull on that fucking thing was unbelievable. Really hard. Too hard. Now this, th this is what you cannot do with the Taurus. Okay, you can't do this. Let's check it make sure it's safe. Uh, where the mag release is, is... Mm, not too crazy about that, but it's cool. Uh, when the Taurus, when you push the mag in, you have to pull it out. But of course, it's Beretta. It's a better company, better quality. It has a single action, double action. The Taurus is only double action. Well, if you want to be accurate, double action blows. Okay. And this is what you cannot do with the P225. See the P225, you have to. Put the barrel up, put a round in it, push it down, put a magazine in it, and you're ready to go. Okay? With this one, this is like this this acts like a uh, you know, like a like a regular automatic handgun. You can put a full magazine in it and you can do this. Okay? You can do that. Can't do that with the Taurus. Try it. It's hard as a son of a bitch. Any, any, you're not supposed to do that with the Taurus. It's not meant for that. It's meant to put it in the in the tip-up barrel, put it down, put the magazine in, and it's in double action all the time, and it's ready to go, which is fine. But I rather have a gun that has a hammer. Once I pull the hard trigger, and the slide goes back, I have a nice, easy, maybe two and three, maybe a three-pound little trigger pull, and that's what I like because you can be more accurate with that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Uh, the magazine is higher quality. Not knocking Taurus. That that was a cool little gun, but it's not high quality. It's just not. They've, they've it's better than their older ones, but it's still not high quality. 
Here's a magazine made in Italy. They make the best magazines. If you know, Macgar magazines are awesome. They're made in Italy. Sig magazines are made in Italy. Okay. Uh, look at the follower. See how it goes around and bends down? So it keeps it from doing that seesawing back and forth. So that means the, ma the, the magazine follower has no choice but to go straight up and down. It won't do this. It won't seesaw. Very nice. I like when I put the magazine in it. I like when I hit the magazine release that the uh, magazine shoots out. That's nice. The Taurus, you, you hit it and you got to pull it out because it don't have a spring and air or whatever pushes it out. It doesn't have it. Okay, another thing. Here's the uh, tip up barrel release button. That's what I call it. Didn't that sound fan fancy? You push this forward and watch. See how it does that? That stutter step? That's because inside here there's a spring and the spring stops this from banging on the frame which will get marred up in time. Which the Taurus, when you release the tip up barrel, bangs into the frame which will fuck up the frame in long term. This has a little shock absorber on there to keep it from banging the frame. How cool is that? Beautiful machinery and it actually has sights on it. It has a front sight and a notched out sight here. Much more visual than the Taurus. Uh, this is a 32. It's a bigger round which I feel a little better about that too. Uh, it's just, it's a Beretta man. It's a beautiful piece. I've, I've been, this is my first Beretta. I've been wanting a Beretta forever. I just, I'm not uh, the Beretta 92, I'm not a fan of that. I hear a lot of crazy shit about that. But uh, there's certain weapons that Beretta makes that are just perfection, you know. And uh, the Bobcat's got a good reputation. And this is what a 32 caliber looks like. Pretty big. Just a little smaller than a 9mm. Or no, or, or 380 is the same as a moment. It's a little smaller than a 380 or a 9mm. So, there you go. I'd rather have that than, a, than the 25. But I thought the 25s were cool, man, because they were real little. Uh, another, yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to say. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, got a box of ammo, 19, what was it, 19 bucks for 50 rounds. Pretty expensive. But the 25s were actually more expensive. They were $26 for 50 rounds. So there it is, man. This is a keeper. Great pocket gun. I'm going to carry this a lot. Uh, it's a bigger caliber. I feel better with this. So, that's the deal. Bye bye, Taurus P225. Here to stay. 32 caliber. Tom Caparetta. Now, if I can only get beautiful rosewood grips for him, I know I'm never satisfied. I'm going to paint any ass. But I do miss them rosewood grips, man, with the black. Looks great. Maybe I can go online and find a set. This is my Ruger cup that my wife makes me coffee in. Just to show you how much of a ball breaker and a pain in the ass I am, when she makes me coffee, it has, she puts whipped cream in there and nutmeg and a touch of cinnamon. Ain't that cool? Most wives would say, go fuck yourself. Make your own cup of fucking coffee. <laughs> So there it is, man. Nothing really comes with it. I'm going to show you the case. You, know, it, you get a magazine, one magazine, one great magazine. You get a magazine and the gun, and you get some gay lock, which you never use, you know. And uh, that's it. You don't get much with it. But, but for uh, if you guys are interested, if you want something like this, you can get one of these for like uh, $3.99. Believe me, it has a parkerized finish. I love it. I don't like, you know, it's shiny stuff. It's parkerized. And it's single action, double, before you go, oh my god, it's single action, double action. It's just, it's a huge difference in quality. It's worth another hundred bucks, big time. And it's a bigger caliber. There you go. Talk to you soon.